Hi guys, back at Smash Fishing. We're currently out at one in the morning going after squid. Then we're gonna jump on the boat as soon as the sun comes up and hopefully we'll catch some fish and pull some pots. It's Smash Fishing, baby. Woo! The rig I've got today, guys, just got a nice big lure at the bottom there with a seven gram weight. We've got a little standout loop about a foot and a half up to a really small jig just so it gives a bit of diversity, the bigger fish and the smaller one. And hopefully the big squid want to eat it. I've got my Pen Regiment 2 today with the Pen Slammer. Perfect setup for this. Hopefully there's some squid around. I know there's some little ones. It's so early in the season that I wasn't really that hopeful, but I managed to get a couple of squid the other day. So I know there's a few smaller ones here, but hopefully the big ones have shown up. And all I'm doing is going straight to the bottom and I'm going to have a slow lift and retrieve sort of action all the way in. Hopefully we can catch those squid as the tide's coming in. Come on! Look at that little beast. <laughs> it's absolutely tiny, but that there is great eating. That's a great start to the night. These little ones are definitely the ones you want to be munching on. And that is literally second cast. Beautiful little squid there. Look at the colours on that. And that is the whole point of getting the little lure. Because it catches the little tiny squid like this. One down. I'm going to dispatch him now. And hopefully we'll catch some more. I've got something on here guys. I think it's a cuttlefish. It's a big cuttlefish. Try and get him in here. Come on. A little bit further. Yeah, I got him. Ah, yes. <laughs> what a palaver this was. I am stuck near a pole and I've got a rope and a rod, but we got a cuttlefish, baby. That's a lovely cuttlefish. He's come off the jig. And check that out. I want to make sure I don't get inked. Look at that. What a beautiful creature these are. These are the cracking through and through these. Beautiful creature. Great bait. Also, also great eating. But when they're blown up like this, you can see it's like a ball. You've got to really watch out because it can ink you. It will squirt all over your face. And you will have a seriously bad day. But check that out. What a beautiful creature. Solid as well. Lovely big cuttlefish. That's one squid down and one beautiful sized cuttlefish. Hopefully there's some more around. To dispatch these guys, what you gotta do is put your fingers behind the mantle there and just break the membrane and uh, this will be dispatched properly. Look at that. Right in there, that's its beak. That's where it draws in its prey and eats it. Lovely job. So I'm gonna dispatch him now. Hopefully, we can get some more. All I've been doing for this, guys, so I'm literally just dropping to the bottom at the moment. Just like so. Going all the way to the bottom until my line's slack, and then I leave it for a few minutes. Just so let the jig do its thing, because what they do is they float up in the water like this with the tail in the air, and the cuttlefish and squid are drawn to them. They are also glow in the dark as well. And that's what attracts them in. So I like to leave it just for a few minutes, and we got another little beauty. Look at that. <laughs> I just changed spot because I was in the wind a little bit. I'm on a big pontoon. And I was just vertical dropping it straight down the side here. And first drop. First drop and I got squid ink in my face. Lovely. There you go. As I said before, perfect eating size these squid. I'm going to give them a little judo chop and hopefully we'll catch another one. Two squid, one cuttlefish down. It's the next morning, guys. It's an absolutely beautiful morning as well. I'm here a little bit later than I thought because I went home last night after squidding and uh, I ended up falling asleep with my cup of tea in my hand. So it is what it is, but it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon now. So what we're gonna do is go out on the boat, check the pots maybe, do a bit of lure fishing. I've also got a float rod with me as well. And I've got some chum as well, so we can literally catch anything. So I'm just gonna go for a little bit of a mooch about and hopefully we can get something to eat. The boat's a little bit stacked at the moment. I've got trots and everything in here. 
I mean, this is what we got today. We've got a nice tin of tuna and we've got two loaves of bread. So I'm gonna chum up the area when I start float fishing. We've just anchored up now, guys. We've got a big reef on our right here and then all the back of here is sand and mixed ground. I'm hoping there's some garfish around. I need some pot bait and what I've got is just a little strip of horse mackerel. I like using horse mackerel because they've got such tough skin. The garfish can't just rip it off like they do normal mackerel. And that's it, one tiny little bait. I've got some chum mixed up with two loaves of bread and some tuna. Hopefully we can get some fish. And in between all this, I'm gonna be spinning around for some bass. Got a frenzy behind us guys i don't know if you can see the water boiling there as soon as i threw the chum out they all went crazy oh yeah lovely big ones as well come on baby <laughs> oh he's in the boat get another piece on you can see them bobbling as soon as i threw that chum out it was just like an explosion watch how quick this is guys the bait's just been thrown in come on straight away Ah, fish on! <laughs> oh, I love doing this. Great fun. That's a beautiful size. Uh, these are so valuable as baits. So when they come in the bait, this is why I take so much opportunity just to get some. So glad it came out today because they seem to be in force. They're eating that chum like no tomorrow. That's two down. Hopefully we can get one over a pound. Oh, that's a better one. Oh, jumping out the water. Mini marlin. Wow. Look at him go. <laughs> Come on, he's a bigger one. Whoa. <laughs> Come on, bad boy. Get in the boat. Oh, that's a beauty. Biggest one of the day. Look at the size of that. What a beautiful stamp of fish. Let's see if we can get bobbling up again. All that's just in this is literally one, one tin of tuna. There's nothing better than just chilling out, having a good fish like this. Now they're going, look, boom, jumping out the water and everything. Still on? Hey, still on. Oh, they're everywhere. <laughs> Lovely big garfish there. And all I'm using, I've got a size, I believe this is a size 4 hook. Very small, long shank on it so I can try and get the hook back out. I've had all of my fish, I've caught five garfish now, all on the same sliver of skin. There's so many here that you can see them jumping out the water behind me. It's so easy fishing. But it's so fun at the same time. It's just instant bites. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bit of acrobats going on. Get up here. Beautiful fish. Oh, I missed him again. <laughs> right near the boat. Oh, missed him again. Does he want it? There he goes. Oh, I missed him again. Does he want it? Oh! <laughs> oh, missed him. Got him that time. Oh, there's a flippy one. <laughs> the fight they give you is crazy on light line. I've got eight pound main line, eight pound trace. And just a tiny little half ounce float and that's all you need just to enjoy yourself having a bit of fishing i'm gonna stop float fishing for a minute i've got about 10 long nose so 
So what I'm going to do is just spin around for some bass, see if I can get a bass. If not, we'll carry on slaying a few. And then once we've got enough for what we need, we will uh, we'll go do the crab pots and hopefully we get a lobster. There's so many down here underneath. I've just put on a sidewinder switchblade. Ah, oh, and they are everywhere. They love the look of this lure. There's thousands down there. I'll get a bit of underwater footage in a minute, guys. And I'll show you how many's really there. Oh, no. <laughs> I need to tip my face off. I had one on the jig then. I keep hooking them, but they keep popping off. We got him this time. Yeah. Oh, no, that one's gone. We got jigs flying everywhere. This is dangerous. I'm going back to the float because I'm going to take my eye out. But this is, these things really do attract them, man. I've had enough of the garfish for a minute. We've got we've got a fair few on board at the moment. There's a few laying around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head up here now and I'm gonna go get some pots and see if we can get a lobster. And then we'll come back here after and start slaying some more. I've chummed it up really heavy, so I know the fish are gonna stay around here. Today I've moved them right into the rocks, so fingers crossed we can get some crabs or some uh, or some lobsters. Nothing but a little spider crab in that one. Nothing but a lady crab. We're moving these. Ones. Ah, big monster spiny starfish. Purple on it, isn't it? That is pretty much it. Little spider crab in there, I think, or a lady crab. There we go, little lady crab. On to the next ones. One little spider crab. Terrible. Ooh, big lobster. Oi, oi. Nice, nice lobster. Check that out. It's got eggs as well. Big buried female. So what I'm going to do is get the pot sorted, guys. And I'll give you a show of that and we'll release her. Check that out for a juicy lobster. It's buried, loads of eggs, absolutely stacked out she is. Lovely big solid lobster, but females always go back, these big ones anyway, especially if they got eggs. That's the future. So uh, let's get it back. Drop it off the back there, and make its way back down, and hopefully we'll get a big one next time. I don't know what I hooked here. What on earth is this? 
what is this? I don't even know, is this going to be a goldfish? I don't think this is a goldfish. What is this? I'm going to have to play it carefully. What is this? This is on a strip of goldfish. Or is it foul hook? It's a foul hook goldfish. That went on an almighty run. It's a big one as well. Wow, that's a beauty. There we go. That's the biggest goldfish of the day. That one's over a pound for sure. That's a beauty of a goldfish. Look at the size of that. That went on an almighty run. That's a huge goldfish. That's well over a pound, that fish. That is a monster. That is the catch and cook sort of size. I was going to cook the squid, but I'm going to cook this now. That is a beauty of a goldfish. That's up there with one of the biggest ones I've caught. That's huge. Look how thick it is. All right, let's get it dispatched. Hopefully we get another one like that. That was a hell of a run. Look at the size of this goldfish, guys. It is an absolute tank. So you've got that one there. And this one, that's that's a pretty big goldfish, that one. And look at the size difference, how thick that is along the back. That's a proper big goldfish, that one. Lovely eating. There we go. What I'm going to do start loading the fish up. I do dispatch them as I go. That's just nerves because that one's quite fresh. Not quite a few, but the more the merrier for this. What I usually do is just cut the beaks off. And then uh, I freeze them down for pot bait, conger bait, any sort of bait you can think of, really. That's a beauty, though. Wouldn't mind a few more like that. <laughs> Is he going to jump? Are you going to jump? Come on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Another good one. Yeah, another lovely one, that big chunky things. They're all really fat, really fat fish. Shows a good healthy population. So there you go guys, that's today's haul. Just gonna give them a little count up. We've got two there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, twenty-one, twenty-two. These being the biggest. These are absolutely massive goldfish. That one there is definitely over a pound. It's an absolute beast. So I'll see you in the kitchen for a cook up. We're back in the kitchen now, guys. We've got our lovely fillets of goldfish here. I've taken all of the bones out. So there's bones that run straight through the center here and on the side, and you can get underneath the bones like any fillet and just take them out. Please get down, thank you. And uh, what we're gonna do is cut it into sections, get it fried up. So I've got a bit of seasoned flour here, just a little bit just to dust them off. So I want them nice and crispy. So just chucking them in here gives them that little bit of an edge. As you can see, that's going to come off well crunchy. Perfect for a little wrap. It's now lunchtime, so nice fish meal. Can't go wrong. So that's what they look like. Let's get them in the frying pan. lovely fresh chunks of garfish i've left the skin on because i want it to go nice and crispy so i'm gonna crisp up these three and we'll get the other three cooked after check that out this is a seriously underrated fish when you get a really big one like this one it's definitely worth eating I've decided not to have it on a wrap. I'm going to have garfish toast instead. And fingers crossed, it tastes a bit better. I just fancy the aspect of a nice crispy bit of toast as well. With our crispy fish. Check how good that looks.
such a tasty little fish this is. Check this meat out. Beautiful white chunky flesh. Quite a firm fish as well. It holds together very well. Really good, really good eating. So there we go guys. Check that out. We've got some nice garlic mayo here. Nice fresh lemon, beautifully nice crispy fish. Some nice pieces of toast. That looks fantastic. Even Smash wants some. Hey buddy. You want some too, hey bud? Yeah, give me some fish, Dad. I got a chair for Smash, but he doesn't want to sit on a chair anymore. Hey, okay? you're getting too big for a chair now, aren't you, bud? So there we go, guys. Beautiful garfish on a bit of toast with some garlic mayo. And all I'm gonna do is just get some garlic mayo on the toast. Just like that. Make sure it's all covered and get a nice big chunk of fish on there. And then a nice piece of lemon. Something a bit different, but very simple still, nonetheless. Mm. Tastes really fresh. It's a really fresh taste of meal, this. The flesh of a garfish is very similar to mackerel, but it's not as fishy. It's definitely not as fishy tasting at all. Now that it's cooled down a bit, it could smash a nice big chunk. Spin. Oh, good boy. Kisses. 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 Oh, give me another one. Oh, yeah. Good boy. Oh. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Definitely a bit of a mix-up. I fancy trying to um, do multiple things in the videos instead of trying to do one, going after one species. I'm going to try and go after multiple. Especially now winter's coming. I tend to fish right through the night during winter and into the mornings. So I'm going to mix it up. And if you enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button. Beautiful. You can't go wrong with beautiful fresh fish like that. Not a bone in sight. Oh, that's so good. That garlic mayo really makes it. Just that hint of garlic in there, it's delicious. Mmm. I love how the layers of it, they all stick together, but they're so flaky at the same time. It's a really different sort of texture to it. Mmm. Spin. Good boy. So I won't need the video any longer, guys. I'm gonna finish off my lunch, edit this video, then we're back out fishing after he's been for a walk. Hey bud, go for a nice walk up a forest. So stay tuned, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and hit the subscribe button. The merch link is below. Uh, Christmas is coming, so I highly recommend um, ordering if you wanna order before, for, uh, if you wanna order for family members, because there is cut off dates that will come up eventually, so if you get them early, you'll make sure they're in stock. So uh, stay tuned. I'll see you next time. It's Smash Vision, baby. I've run out of things to say.